we'll get to the phone lines. Got Bobby in Modesto. Bobby, how can we help you? All right, all right. Thank you guys for taking my call. I really appreciate it. Sure, buddy. What's on your mind? So I was calling um, about a year and a half ago. Me and my wife we we uh, we moved in with her in, with her parents, my in laws, and um, we were thirty five thousand dollars in debt a year and a half ago. We moved in, and in that year and a half, we were able to pay off all of our debt with the uh, financial peace university and all that stuff. Way to go, Please, Bobby! Free, Way to go, man! Thank, thank you, man. And, and uh, we have a, we're we're working on our step three, which is um, I think we got about ten grand, close. I think a little under ten grand um, in our baby step three, and we're looking Good. at you know build that to about twenty twenty two thousand. Um, but we're we're in a we're in a one bedroom in her parents' house, and it's me, my wife, and my two kids, and a newborn. And so it's been it's been a little stressful lately. Uh, <laughs> Brother Bobby, being, that is, being, <laughs> that's the understatement of the century, my man. <laughs> I mean, man, wow. it's, been tough. it's yes. been tough, man. It really has. Um, but the good thing is that, you know, we knew, we knew it was going to be a little rough, but knocking out that deck, getting – getting our money in order and, and uh, you know, really seeing progress there has has helped ease the process a little bit. We've kind of just made it, you know, made it work. She's not working right now. I'm working. Mm-hmm. I had gotten laid off in, in March, and uh, but then I got a job by the end of March. I got a job working uh, with the garbage company, and I've been working even more. I was make, I'm making more now than what I was making before. That's right. And giving my tithe, giving my offering, mm-hmm. saving and really just believe in the Lord, uh, mm. you know, that he's going to provide a way and stuff like that. Now, my question is, it is get, taking a little stress on our on our marriage, uh, me and my wife, our kids and everything, and we're, we're in a position where we can move into a place to rent and have our own place, which I know is needed. Um, I'm just kind of like debating, okay, is it time to move because of the marriage? And, and I know that is very, very important, and I, I don't want to put more stress on it than needs to be, especially with our situation. Do I kind of talk to my wife and say, you know what, let's hold on a little bit longer or let's get to our six months of emergency fund and then go out? With everything going on with COVID and stuff, uh, it's been a weird year even to step out and get into a, uh, you know. uh, Hey, Bobby. uh, Bobby. Yeah, go ahead. Y'all should move. Yeah. You should move tomorrow. Yeah, okay. Move tomorrow. Uh, I can even hear in your voice, you know the answer to that. Tomorrow's pretty soon, so I'm being sarcastic. Um, You need to sit down with your wife, sit down with your in-laws, and let them know, hey, we got 30 days or 60 days, go find a good apartment. Mm -hmm. And um, y'all have done, man, you have have epitomized sacrifice. Y'all made a hard plan. You are an absolute ninja, you and your wife. And I'm just going to change your terminology. She is working real hard. She's just working inside the home, not outside the home. And y'all done it, man. You're paid off. You're halfway towards your six month emergency fund. Yeah. Um, slow down a little bit now. Now you're gonna have to refocus and re-energize. Put some put some love and some energy back into that marriage bucket. Three kids will wear anybody else uh, wear anybody out. Much less all crammed in a one bedroom um, a one bedroom room, right? But good for you guys. Yeah. Y- y'all kick some butt. You're an inspiration of folks across the country. Um, But, yeah, it's time for you all to move out. Yeah, I agree. I think, you know, getting back, talking to his wife, setting up the time frame, being able to communicate up front and clear with the Mm in-laws so they can start to prepare for this. Everybody mentally and emotionally can start to move down the path. And I I think I agree with you. I think it's In-laws are going to miss the kids. Of course they are. And and so let's talk about it. And we're going to have to deal with feelings with this because the the in-laws are going to feel like, look, we opened up our home for you. Right. You're just going to take our and grandkids away? And now you're just going to take the grandkids and leave? Or they may be laying in bed every night going, God Please, Almighty, get out of my get house. Get out of my house. Out of my house. Gosh, remember so, we just had one basset hound, how quiet everything was, right? <laughs> remember when the remote didn't walk away? Oh, man. You yes. left it in one spot? Yes. Yeah, you know what? It could be a little bit of both. It's going to be a little bit of both. But you know it what? Will. As adults, you talk about it. Right. Man, lay it out. I like that. And I, he, you could hear it in his voice, couldn't you? He knew. He, he knew Colin. He's ready. He's like, boy, this has been rough. It's been a sacrifice. But you know what? 
you did make a sacrifice. Mm-hmm. You all, they opened up their home. You all, I'm sure, were respectful in it. And you were able to make progress. So now it's a matter of it's time to move forward. Now, I am going to encourage you, get over to Ramsey Plus so you can start building your budget now and what that's going to look like with the new rent and the utilities and the things you all haven't been paying. So we got to go ahead and start to build that budget 30 days out and let's start living according. That's the process, my friends.